All right, this is first grade, module three, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are gonna be measuring the same set of objects that they were measuring in the topic B in that previous section of our module. Uh, only this time, they're gonna be using, rather than just that centimeter cube that they were doing previously, uh, now we're gonna be using a bunch of different non-standard units so that students can see um, that first off, if we're measuring something, we need to use the same unit. Uh, they always need to be centimeter cubes, or they always need to be the long paper clip, or it always needs to be the short paper clip. The idea being we can't mix and match these units, otherwise our, our measurements are going to be kind of silly. The purpose of this is um, unless we expose students to the concept of the units need to be the same. Um, it's We as adults are just assuming that the students recognize that need, but in these series of lessons, we're really going to point it out and bring it to the forefront for students to recognize, oh yeah, our units always need to be the same. So if we're going to use the large paper clip, we always need to use the paper, the large paper clip when measuring something. Or if we're going to use the short paper clip, we always need to use the short paper clip when measuring something. So let's put this into uh, some practice. So I'm really only going to use this one slide as our main example for this video. And the idea of parents and teachers is, you know, like, why are we doing this lesson? What's the point of using these non-standard measurements like uh, big paper clips or small paper clips? Why can't we just use centimeter cubes and say, all right, well, we're going to put all these centimeter cubes together. We're not going to allow any gaps or overlaps. What's, you know, what's, what's wrong with just the idea of centimeter cubes? And really, there's nothing wrong with centimeter cubes. Uh, the point, however, is we need students to recognize that uh, when we choose a measurement system, in this case, centimeter cubes, we need to stick with centimeter cubes the entire duration of that paintbrush. It's not like we can say, well, I'm going to use some centimeter cubes and some uh, paper clips, let's say, all right? So we, we, we're really highlighting the fact that we need to use consistent units. And the only way to do that is to have this lesson where it kind of might seem a little silly to be using all these non-standard measurements. The other idea is let's say we're using paper clips, okay? So, all right, I've got paper clips and I'm gonna line up these paper clips and I'm gonna measure. The idea is we also have to make sure students recognize that we have to use the same kind of paper clips. We can't mix and match and say, well, I wanna use some big paper clips and some small paper clips. No, you can't do that. We need students to recognize that if they've chosen to use large paper clips, then they need to stick with the large paper clips, in which case uh, this paintbrush is about three paper clips long, about. Um, it, now I'm just using, I just made up these paper clips, so I don't know if that's the right answer for the module. And then uh, the idea would be, but if you're going to use small paper clips, so you're going to say, okay, well, let's use small paper clips. So let's line up our little small paper clips. And let's see if I can get this a little bit better. One, two, three. And let's do another one here. Four. Ah, uh, so it's about uh, four or five small paper clips. And of course, all of this is in contrast with the fact that we could have been using just centimeter cubes, right? But this module does not want us to be using centimeter cubes or even official rulers quite yet. So that ultimately, students are going to be putting their answers in this table here. Now, parents and teachers, my answers are not correct because I'm not using them to scale. I just grabbed some pictures of paper clips and paintbrushes, so I, I didn't calibrate it to make sure it's the right answer. But students are going to be putting their answers in here, and they're going to recognize some patterns. Oh, the number of small paper clips is always going to be bigger than the number of big paper clips, right? And that's the idea. And, and really, what 
makes sense about all of this is the fact that uh, in real life, how does this connect with real life? In real life, instead of it being large paper clips and small paper clips, students in reality might be coming across things that say like, oh, well, we can measure it in inches or we can be measuring it in centimeters, in which case we really do have this same kind of relationship of this number always being bigger than this number. That's because centimeters are a smaller unit than the inches. So this really does lay the groundwork towards um, measuring with actual rulers. However, the best thing in the world, though, is the fact that we could have our students just skip all that paper and pencil stuff. Just tell your students to run around the classroom, or in this case, run around their house, measuring things. Write down the name of the object and measure how long it is in large paper clips and small paper clips. Isn't that kind of cool? If you could, maybe even just let your students build um, paper clip necklaces with large paper clips for one necklace and then um, or maybe we should call it a belt because we want it to be a, str a string, a paperclip string. And then another paperclip string with small paperclips. And they could just run around with these little uh, strings, this large paperclip string or a small paperclip stream, string. And they could be measuring objects around the house. This, it's this kind of problem that causes math to really come to life for our students. And that wraps up First grade module three, lesson seven, the idea of using those big paper clips or the small paper clips to go around and measure things.